Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk the Crafty Yogi and welcome to the Crafty Corner and a little Monday night mini class. I always give it a fancy name, it doesn't always mean that <laughs> it's organized or fancy, but welcome! Whew. So I've had a busy couple weeks, but I'm super glad to be here with you. Um, what are we going to do tonight? Tonight we are going to play with delivering cheer. <laughs> delivering cheer. I'm going to talk to you about paper piecing. Um, I do this with other sets too, but um, this one I thought it would be super cute and I hadn't really opened this one up, so I wanted to play with that. So, okay. What is today? Today is Monday, October 11th. Okay, it's October 11th. So welcome to Monday. Welcome to October's rolling along right here. There we go. I got my computer. I am live. I can see your comments. So welcome. Okay, so anything that has to do with my classes or Stampin' Up! specials will pertain to this time period. But um, this technique, you can use this with all sorts of different stamps and all sorts of different papers. Um, of course, they should be Stampin' Up! ones because they're the best. But otherwise, it's, it's totally cool. Okay, so let's throw us down here. Woohoo! Look at me. Go, go, go. And let's press these buttons. Yay! Hello! Okay, so quickly with classes from me. Oh, where's my gnome? Hold on. Got my little gnome here. Thought I had everything. All right, so October's classes are coming up quick, quick, quick. And I need your RSVPs for just cards. Um, I normally say Monday, but really by tomorrow. Um, we'll be, ooh, we'll be fine. Um, so that I can get cutting these on Wednesday, although I got a couple meetings, meetings on Wednesday. Um, Just Cards is a class, it's a to-go kit, where you get the supplies to make two of each card. Um, and these are the three cards, it's, we're going with the fall Halloween theme. Although super fun, you could flip this paper over, I think it's stripey on the back, and not say happy Halloween. You could just use it as a base for another card if you really wanted, but um, always got to include at least one Halloween card. But this is $22 if you pick up and $26 if it is shipped to you. And I think it's kind of fun. It was, I didn't even realize this is um, Rich Razzleberry and this is Blackberry Bliss. So I, apparently I had uh, these dark purples on the mind. But that is that class. So that is RCP by tomorrow. Let me know. Then next week, I am half sold, half sold. There are only um, eight kits left is our gnome fall banner. I didn't string it yet, but he's gonna be in the center. Um, see, he's got secret, secret holes back there and we run the twine behind him. And then all these really cute little leaves. See, this is the beautiful, oh, look at this pumpkin. Like how cute is that little pumpkin with this sparkly paper in the back and little leaves poking out everywhere. I don't know. I think it's super cute. Um, so this is the fall banner. I only have eight left. So if you want them, you got to let me know because they do usually sell out. So we'll see how that goes. So that is the gnome banner. Hey, Amy. Thank you. I'm feeling a little better. I took a turn yesterday to on the good side and that makes me feel better. And then just cards Christmas. We've got two weeks or three weeks to get to this. So right now I have one card. <laughs> I will design the other two cards this week, but this is the just cards. Um, Christmas the the start of it so same price as the regular just cards but they're Christmas cards okay so those are let me bag this all up so I'm organized those are my classes for October so I don't want to lose my little bow okay so I'm gonna move those all out of the way all right and now we are going to talk about delivering cheer. It's such a fun set. Hello, Deb. How are you? Um, so this is one of these two-step stamp sets where you have the, there's two bottoms and, and three tops. And you're going to laugh when I show you my card. I now realize that this was supposed, to, this is a coat and it should go with these two sets of arms. I put it with the presents because I just thought it was like a cute little skirt. It could be a skirt with boots, but anyway. Um, I think you can use it any way you want, so you're going to see that. But I do like my card. So this is the card I made just a little bit ago, and this is what I mean by paper piecing. It's where you stamp the image on your designer series paper, and then you, you fussy cut it out, and it looks like a printed skirt. So that would be much harder to draw on your own. Um, and then I colored this with Stampin' Blends. I think it came out really pretty. So this is like soft succulent and crumb cake. Um, and this is in that meadow paper. Hi, Beth. How are you? Hi, Roxana. Oh, yay. Hey, Michelle. 
Michelle. Lots of people are here. Hooray. I've missed you guys. Not that, well, not that I wasn't suffering. And then I was also having fun. I was, and then I was suffering and having fun at the same time. I'm telling you, I, I'm probably one of the few people who went to Disneyland for two days and lost weight because I couldn't really eat because um, my mouth hurt a lot. Um, but I worked it out. And don't worry, now I found pancakes and um, I'm good to go. <laughs> but in a couple days, I think I'm going to be um, right as rain. So anyway, we are going to paper pierce. Piece, not pierce. We're not poking. We're piecing. We're cutting. Okay, so we're going to make a Christmas card. And I am going to go with the coat again. But then just for fun, we're going to stamp the skirt because I want to show you how cute that is. Okay, so I've got to find, here we go. Got to find the right stamp. Um, I'm going to stamp a memento black because I'm using a black base for my card. But you could really stamp, you could, like this one, I could have went with early espresso. And that would have been a nice, a little bit warmer feel um, to my card or soft suede. So you can definitely play with the colors. Um, but if you're going to color, sometimes it is a little bit nicer to have the black. But you can color on the brown. So don't, don't be afraid of them. Okay, so what do I need to do? I've got a piece, oh, here it is. I was like, I've got a piece of paper. All right, so I'm gonna show you how you stamp this. You really don't need very big piece of paper, and you need either a foam or a silicone mat under this, because it's a photopolymer set. Okay, I don't need that part. So we're gonna stamp this cute little set of boots and coat now that I do know that it's a coat. When I started looking at it, I'm like, I don't understand. Why doesn't this fit right? I had to stamp it twice. And then I realized, oh, because she's supposed to hold the tree. Now, I don't need this whole piece. I could stamp the whole thing, but really all I need is that little bit of coat. So you could take a little bit of scrap or something. I was using this little piece of purple here. Oops, I should do it this way because the legs are long. So if you wanted to be ultra frugal, right, this is all you need on your. So it's great technique for scraps. And you can do lots of fun things, like, although that's really dark. Maybe I'm going to use a different green. I thought that was gonna be super cute. See, sometimes your ideas in your head don't work out. I thought, oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's try this one. Let's try this one. So I thought that green would be really cute for a coat, but I see that it's not showing up with the black, unless I really need to re-ink my black ink pad. Let's try it on this plaid. There we go. See how we have that cute coat? Okay, I gotta put on my glasses and cut it out. I know you're like, ooh, I came to watch a video of a lady cutting out paper. But yes, yes you did. Well, you didn't pay. <laughs> it's free. Um, but if you haven't done this, so this technique is really fun with animals. Um, what else is it fun with? It's fun with anything that has clothes, you know, skirts, coats, it can be fun with flowers. It's kind of a cool, like more artsy way to play with flower stamps that are outlined. So it needs to be an outline stamp. And you wanna cut right on the edge of the stamped image. So in this case, it's on the black. So right at the edge, like you don't wanna leave white space. Like sometimes when you fussy cut, you leave a little white space like um, we do with dyes. And then this coat has this little bit of open part. So we're gonna cut that but you don't want any white. Let's see if I can, yay. And then I've got a little tiny nip I gotta get there. So it's not really super hard. And then since I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the, the lady holding trees, um, you can just kinda square that up. Look at that, it's like pay, playing paper dolls. If you ever played paper dolls, it's really fun. It's so cute, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm almost kinda glad it didn't work on my Hound's tooth plaid, although I thought that would be super, super fun. Okay, and then I've got a long piece, and this is um, two and a half by four. I don't need glasses anymore. Two and a half by four. We are gonna stamp it again, and towards the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna stamp it down here. Oh, and you know what? I did think of one other thing we need to do. Oh, isn't that adorable? Like, look how they gave the highlights in the boots. It is such a cute stamp set. Okay, we actually need to stamp this. Where's my gray piece of paper? Oh yeah, I have some left. Okay, hold on, my little piece of purple. Um, the main reason I'm putting a little scratch, I just didn't have any <laughs> cut up scratch paper, is um, if your ink gets on here, it will smear. What I noticed in this stamp, I'll show it to you here, 
the sleeves are here. So if we're paper piecing the bottom of the coat, we need to most likely, unless it had black sleeves or something, most likely your coat is the same on the sleeves as it is on the bottom. So we only need this little bit. All right, and then we're gonna, see that little bit? We need to cut that out. You're gonna laugh, it's so small. Okay, glasses go back on. But this is gonna be a super cute card and you could totally use this technique lots of different ways. Like um, a fun one would be, you know the sheep we had, that free set, celebration set? They would be super cute. Okay, so how am I gonna do this part? I'm gonna do this, cut the tree out. I don't know if this is totally necessary, but we're gonna see. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work and that's okay. All right, and that piece. So there's one little sleeve. Cause I'm gonna color the cuffs. I'm gonna color them red. It's gonna be super cute. And she's gonna have red tights. I'm just bummed she can't have a green um, herringbone coat. I think my black probably needs to be re-inked, but she's gonna look really cute in a buffalo plaid coat. This is gonna be super tiny. We're gonna have to get out our liquid glue to glue this on. So, you know, in retrospect, could I have colored the sleeves of her coat? Probably. Okay, so let's try not to lose her sleeves now that we went through all that trouble. Okay, and we've got the base of her coat. Okie dokie. Hey, Lisa. Yes, Erlene, you got a message from me. I'm so glad you're on. Erlene, you were one of my winners in um, my Halloween week set of videos. So I have a little prize to send you. So yes, send me your address and I will send you a prize. And Lisa, who just commented above you, she was one of my winners. And then I forget who the third one was, but I mailed hers before I went out of town because she um, happened to see me post it. She watched the video where I said who won. Um, yeah, so I have prizes. And I think I'm gonna do, at the end of this month, I think I'm gonna do a thankful week and all the um, projects will be Thanksgiving or fall themed and um, I think I'm gonna come up with some fun ideas of things that you would wanna use around Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm like super inking this. Okay, <laughs> you laugh. I think it's hard to line these, it's not actually hard. I think I get nervous. So we're gonna line this up. Let's see, let me look in the camera. Okay, I can't tell. You want the line to come right to the top of the skirt. Oh, it's gonna go off the page, but that is okay. The tree is apparently um, taller, or I put her higher than the pile of presents. Yay, that'll totally work. I'm okay with that. All right, so now we've got our little piece of paper. We're gonna close our ink up right now. Stamp the boots green. Ooh, Dawn has a good idea. All right, let's try it. So you can do it in paper. Ooh, did I get inky? All right, let's take this off. Let me clean it. Hold on. See, we're gonna get the green in there. I'm gonna color the tree green, of course. Although you could color it pink or blue or something. Um, this stamp set, I think, would go super, super nice. We're gonna color them in pear pizzazz because that's the color of paper that I had cut out. Here we go. So she has cute black boots on, right? We can do the same technique. Oops, hope that's not a piece I need. No, we can do the same technique. I need a little scrap of white. All right, bring in my little piece. I should have cut a piece of, <laughs> don't ask me why. It just didn't happen. We just need some boots. Oh yes, okay, 10 points for Dawn. 10 points for Dawn, except that you get to watch me cut more things. <laughs> Oh, these are gonna be so cute. What are those boots called? Um, Hunter? There's a couple brands, right, of those galoshes boots. I always think they're so cute, but I'm thinking they're not that comfortable, so I've never bought a pair. Um, but I do like boots. I have a pair, well, I had a pair of brown ones last year. I have some Merrill boots that I like to wear in the winter. Okay, let's see if I can get it cut right to the edge. So I, I want to keep that back piece, but I want to cut her, it sounds really funny, but I want to cut her legs off because her legs are going to get 
Ooh, this one's going to be... So okay, so this is the kind of card you're probably not going to make 50 of, right? You're going to just make a couple. All right, so I think we're ready to play Paper Dolls now. All right, so we've got our cute little girl. Since I'm going to glue the sleeves on, I'm going to go ahead and just glue everything. So see how... The boots come on. She's got green boots. You know what? I'm going to stamp her legs first. Let's see if I cut that well. I think that'll work. Okay. Hold on. There's a little thing. This is so cute. This little stamp. I'm going to show you before we stamp it. It makes like tights or like leg warmers. Oh, you probably can't see that. That's like milliscopic. Look. Oh, will it focus? There you go. It makes the cutest little tights. All right, move your boots out of the way. Let's put these on. Ta-da! So she's got little red tights on. How cute is that? It's so cute. Okay, so we're going to glue all this on. So this is like for real, like playing with paper dolls. And actually, I need to cut that down. See, so you can see her mittens. Let's see if I can make this happen. Hopefully, I'm not cutting it down too low because I don't want to have to cut it again oh that's pretty good dang it I did cut it a little too low oh, it's so cute we're gonna have to do it one more time and we're gonna have to get super super pro I'm gonna have to stamp them both all right my bad oh, I can save that one and put the presents under it all right we got to do it one more time sorry my friends because there was a little gap so what we need to do is stamp both pieces okay let's stamp off that green all right, it'll be worth it. I promise you, it'll be worth it. And then you're gonna know, you're gonna have learned from all of my not exactly quite right <laughs> techniques. Okay, did I make it? Let me look. I think I made it. Okay, and then let's get the tree. It's called paper piecing. It means you make pieces of paper. And then let's put this on here it's like I can't breathe and talk and put the stamp down Whew. okay now let's cut some more things again it's a good thing oh thanks Erlene for your address perfect it's a good thing I'm pretty good at at cutting now <laughs> it's pretty good all right let's cut this out because what happens is I need to know how far to go and no um you know what yes I'm just gonna cut it all at once and we're not gonna glue those little tiny pieces on yes yeah, so see my mistake earlier although I might use that skirt again has taught me that I can do it this way this stamp set is also just if you love to color this is just such a great one for coloring you know what I said yes but it might fall off all right we gotta come along I'm gonna leave am I gonna leave that I don't know we'll leave it and we'll see what happens okay where's my other sleeve there it is this is the card you send to someone you like a lot when you make this. Although, if you like to color and you're just sitting down and you're coloring these with your stamp and blends, you might have a lot of fun and send these to your, you know, your girlfriends or something. And in the catalog they show it, um, there's a to and a from. It's super great, I think, for making tags, like deluxe tags with the cute little girl on there. Although occasionally I wish they gave her a face. I mean, I get the whole idea of that they're holding so much stuff and it's kind of cute, but. I am a fan of dolls, paper dolls, human dolls. I may possibly own my own American Girl dolls. It's okay. And actually, if you look back here, did you see my Mickey? Did you see my Mickey? He's so cute. He has little, oh, this way. He's got little fall clothes. <laughs> so cute. Oh, so anyway, all right, let's see what we got now. All right, <laughs> doesn't that look funny? All right, so we're going to put it, bring in our, okay, I'm just making sure you guys can see. 
and then we're gonna put that on yes hooray it works although I am gonna cut out that one little square for the end of the tree because you wouldn't be able to see that because the tree is on front There we go. All right, now we're gonna get our liquid glue and we're gonna put this carefully on. Not too much, we don't want it to like squirt out, right? We need to come about a quarter inch in and gently, so like these little pieces, just a little bit. It's gonna be all sticky. Can I pick it up with my tweezers? There we go. And, ah, my tweezers got stuck and then I'm gonna glue it down. And you know, maybe we don't get it 100% perfect, but we're gonna get it pretty close. There we go, I'll take that. Okay, if you wanted it to be slightly less stressful, you would stamp and just color and cut out that tree and put that on but I was trying to like make it all flat all right but I think I think that's not bad I think in the scope of the the card that that is pretty darn good <laughs> oh thanks Lisa this is my um random pigtails tonight um I was getting hot earlier <laughs> and I had these two scrunchies and I was like oh I'll just put them in my hair and then I was getting things set up and I realized oh my hair is still like that so that's what you get all right I'm gonna go with the green boots because I think the green boots are going to be fun. It's going to give us a little more color. And do I have earrings? Yeah, I do have earrings. I should have worn my Mickey earrings. It was so cute on my flight to California. I sat next to these two guys from somewhere near Baltimore and the guy's like, wow, he's like, because I, I wore a Mickey shirt and Mickey earrings. He's like, you must like Disney a lot. And I said, actually, yeah, I'm going to meet my family there. And I was like, he's like, yeah, I noticed your Mickey earrings and your Mickey shirt. And I was like, wow, that's pretty good. All right, she's got cute little green boots. Okay, and then we're gonna color. Ooh, you know, I'm gonna keep those little pieces just in case, just in case. All right, so we're gonna get some Stampin' Blends and color her tree. Let's go with some light soft suede. Let's see if I can get this here. All right, and did anybody put their paper pumpkin together yet? I've gotta do mine. I was gonna do it on my virtual um, get together and then I wasn't feeling really good. So I didn't do, I canceled it and I was like, hmm, I would really like to put that together. So I need to get it together before Halloween. Okay, that part is good. Let's get some real red. And that I just used, that was light soft suede. Let's go, we only need a little bit of red so I'm gonna use the light one. Hold on. There's something about coloring and cutting that call for glasses. Okay, so I'm gonna do, well that is just stuck the way it is. I'm gonna do the edges of her sleeves are gonna be red. It's a little messy. All right, and then the rest looks like the tree. All right, so let's go with um, Mossy Meadow. I think we might do mostly light. You know what, we'll give a little bit of dark in here. All right, the dog is laying down, checking her out, making sure she's not getting into trouble. That's so funny. She laid down and then she just got up and click clicked away. All right, and we're gonna color her tree. So you guys have to tell me how many people's dog have a chair in their house. I mean, we sit in it occasionally, but it's pretty much the dog's chair. And if all five of us are here and we're sitting in the sitting area, I have five chairs in it now. Um, somebody has to kick the dog out, but then she'll sit with someone in their chair. She def but she does definitely have a couple spots that are the, her spots. All right, so I'm definitely filling in where maybe I didn't get the sleeve exactly right, but I, I think I'm good. I'm excited about this card now. All right, and I'm coloring the tree. Oh, it's so cute. And it's okay to leave white. Sometimes I'm not good at leaving white and it is actually okay to leave white. And then I think I need to color the mittens. I think she'll have green mittens. Oh, but see, we don't have the, we do not have pear pizzazz in the Stampin' Blend. All right, so she can't have green mittens. She could have gray mittens. Let's go light smoky. Hey, Don, how are you? This is so fun. 
people popping in and out. All right, yeah, we'll go gray mittens. I'm down with the gray mittens. And I'm gonna put a little gray right there where I messed up. Okay, let's just put this together. Now we're gonna do exactly the same layout as the last card, this one right here. So this is a, a cute layout. This, this size is two and a half by four. Oops, I had another one, but I was in case I totally messed up. Yeah, two and a half by four. And then this is just an eighth of an inch bigger. So four and an eighth by two and five eighths. I still amaze myself that I know that information that I've in the last several years actually learned to speak in fractions. It's pretty crazy. Okay, so that's going on. And then I have, um, it was this heartwarming hugs. I'm gonna use a stripey paper on the pear pizzazz. Ooh, hold on. Let's see if I like this one better. All right, that's what it on there. No, I like the red. Because it with the tights, it makes the tights and the little sleeves, both of them I think would be super cute. So this paper, I really like this paper. And this designer suit paper, it carried over from last year. It was very, very popular. So we got to have it again. Um, I haven't, I'll post it tomorrow, the new paper pumpkin that we can order. So not the one that's on the way. We've, oh, shoot. All right. It's a little bit not straight, but that's okay. The one, but there's a new paper pumpkin for next month. So it's also Christmas themed. And I think it looks really cute. I saw the picture today. Did I get that right? All right. All right, so we're finishing up. So we're gonna add a greeting though. And I might have a Merry, otherwise I'm gonna stamp the one that's in there, but I might have a Merry Christmas that's embossed that we can use left over. Cause I told you my technique, when you have to make one, you make a whole bunch and then you put them in your bin and you're ready to go. Yes, I'm gonna pop this up on dimensional. So I'm gonna use black ones since it's a black paper. I don't know if I totally need it in the middle, but I'm gonna go a little crazy here. Because besides watching someone cut or color, well, actually watching, I don't mind watching coloring. I might actually make you guys a couple of coloring videos. I'm not the, I'm not like an expert colorer, but I'm like a, definitely an adequate colorer. Um, I do like watching coloring videos when people like speed it up and it just, they color. I think that's kind of fun. I also like watching, anybody like watching cooking videos? I like watching cooking videos. And that's super random, but just thinking about videos. But I don't know about watching people pull dimensionals off of things. So could you add ribbon? You totally could add ribbon. That black and white ribbon would look really cute with this card, but I think you can leave it just like this. And then in the set, the sending love and Christmas cheer, I thought we would stamp that in red and cut it out. Because since we're on a fussy cutting kick, right? Why not carry on? Get a scrap of white. Will it fit on this? I think it might fit on this. Oh look, there is a random little tiny tree. I think that was from last year. That's funny. Alright, so we're gonna stamp this. We're gonna go ahead and stamp it twice, just in case that I need, because what I want is the little, I want them to be little strips. So let's see if it works. Otherwise we have to mask it or color it or, you know. Okay. I'm going in. I had to like look at it a second. Will my scissors fit? You could leave it the way it is, but I found that it, I thought, and I'll show you, we'll test it with the other one, that it might be too big and it would cover up like her cute tights or um, we could put it lower. We could put it at the boots maybe. So sometimes if you don't want it to be too big when it's a um, one like this or you, you mask it and you color it and you make it into one long one. So we are going around the edges. Don't cut your fingers, if at all possible. Because these scissors, they are sharp ones. Ooh, go up, don't, wouldn't it be bad if like you're almost done and then you cut your S off? 
Yeah, look at that. That's going to look super cute. Okay, where's the rest of it? Sending love and Christmas cheer. You could get fancy and stamp it again in, in the green. That would be really cute. But I think I'm okay with it all being red. Ooh, this is easy to cut. The bottom is basically flat. Okay, we're gonna come in here just a little. There we go. Sending love and Christmas cheer. But see how if it would be together or if, let me show you this, just in case you're like, well, why'd you do that? Even if I cut this a little smaller, see how that takes up a lot? So I would need to move her over or play with something else. But if I do it this way, you know what? I might put it on this side. I like that. So I'm going to put this on with glue dots. I'm going to do that and send it all the way across. That's going to be super cute. Okay, so we're going to need a combo of glue dots and a dimensional. So the dimensional goes at the very end. Let me get a little mini one. I think I've got some minis here somewhere. Ooh, I might need less than a mini. It is little. This is when we get really fiddly, right? So this is definitely a, a card on the fiddly side. And this is the first card. Did I make any other cards? I made this one today. Yeah, the first card I made in like a week. That's good. I didn't forget. I also taught yoga today and I hadn't taught yoga in a week, so it was okay. But I can tell that my, my mouth is getting tired. And I'm going to eat. I, my husband went out and he went to Costco for some stuff. So I had him buy me a smoothie. And I'm going to have some Advil and a smoothie and I'm going to go to bed. But uh, what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to watch. Okay, I've never watched Dancing with the Stars. But Cody Rigsby, who is a Peloton coach, um, he is on it. And this is pretty crazy. His partner and then him both got co tested positive for COVID, but he was vaccinated. So um, luckily, he didn't get super sick. And he's, they're back. They're cleared. But um, So now I'm watching Dancing with the Stars, although I'm fast-forwarding and I'm just voting for Cody. Um, it's kind of funny. Um, but I do watch the voice. Ooh, hold on. I went too far. Okay, there's that one. Whew. I'm like, please work. Now I'm on the last part and I can't get it to go. Okay, is that sticky? I don't even know if it's sticky. All right. Hopefully that's on there. I'll look at that little cutie. Sending love and Christmas cheer. That is not touching. You know what? It probably needs two. It needs a layer of two. So I'm just going to leave it free floating and stick another dimension, uh, another glue dot under here. It's not that big that free floating is going to break it off. I think it's going to be okay. Let's do one more on this side. So if that happens to you, you either have to stack your dimensionals or just make sure that it is firmly attached with glue dots. There we go. It's so cute. So if you haven't um, looked in the catalog at the Delivering Cheer um, stamp set, you should totally look at it. If you like paper dolls, you like real dolls, you could have a lot of fun coloring and stamping and making super cute cards. Yes, Cody is dancing tonight. He's, uh, I saw um, his, little, I follow him on Instagram. So I saw that, and it's Disney themed. It's Disney themed week on Dancing with the Stars. How funny is that, that I even know this information? considering I never watched the show till this year. Um, it's probably not my favorite show in the land, but I like dancing. I like other dancing shows, but um, yeah. So I'll be watching tonight as soon as, um, I think it started at eight. You have to vote between eight and 10 East Coast. So if you don't know who Cody Rigsby is, he's one of the Peloton coaches. I don't ride with him a ton, um, but I do like, I think he's funny. I think he's nice. Um, he, he's a cute little young guy. Well, I say little, he's actually really big. He's like six foot something. Um, but anyway, it's super fun. So thank you for joining me here on a Monday night for a little mini class about paper piecing. If you um, have questions or comments or need help, let me know. If you're interested in any of my upcoming classes, if you want the Just Cards, I got to know by tomorrow morning or midday um, so that I can uh, cut you some cards, right? And if you want to get on the Gnome banner, there's only eight left, so you got to get your payments in right away. 
And then Christmas, um, we got two weeks for that and I'll get the other cards designed this week. So thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate you being part of my crafty world. Um, if you need anything, let me know. I'm Audra Monk, the Crafty Yogi. I'll see you next time. Stay crafty.